whether we'll ever come across the real Atlantis, the lost city of Z, or the road to El Dorado is open for debate. But we do know that there have been some incredible cities that are just as intriguing that have been stumbled upon over the centuries. Let's take a journey back in time to visit some of these incredible places. 22 Incredible Lost Cities 22. Pompeii, Italy We begin with probably one of the most famous lost cities of all time, Pompeii. Mount Vesuvius was and still is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. In 79 AD, the volcano erupted, burying Herculaneum and Pompeii. The cities were buried in ash and pumice and were lost to the world for almost 1700 years. People and homes were frozen in time, and bodies remained intact exactly as they were on that day. The city was accidentally uncovered in 1748 by architect Domenico Fontana. 21. Ephesus, Turkey The discovery of Ephesus dates back to 1863, when British architect John Turtle Wood went on a mission to find the Artemision. Ephesus was a bustling city in 200 AD and was the third largest in the world. Today, the ruins include fountains, temples, theatres, gateways, and some examples of the finest Greek and Roman architecture. This bustling capital was originally built for its harbour, which used to dominate the Eastern Med. The town was abandoned in the 3rd century. 20. Tikal, Guatemala The crown jewel of Guatemala is Tikal, which housed residents right through to the 18th century. The first exploration into Tikal was in 1848, where the jungle had completely hidden this incredible landscape. There was an accidental finding of the place in 1696, when Spanish friar Andres de Avendano described running through the area when he was escaping a possible conspiracy against him. Tikal is now a national park and it's believed up to 60,000 people were living there in its heyday. 19. Machu Picchu, Peru now one of the top tourist attractions in the world, Machu Picchu was discovered by American archaeologist Hiram Bingham on the 24th of July 1911. This city was erected in the 14th century and was home to between 750 and 1,000 people. The area housed 140 stone dwellings, including deposits and temples. The city is also known as the Lost City of the Incas, and it has been a World Heritage Site since 1893. The Incas are thought to have abandoned their homes when the Spanish invaded in 1550. 18. Helike, Greece The story of Atlantis, the amazing city supposedly under the sea somewhere, is not that far-fetched. Helike had a similar fate. There was always a story about Helike, which tells the tale of the city being destroyed by the god Poseidon. For centuries, Helike was just the stuff of stories, until it was discovered in the late 1980s. Various attempts had been made prior, but it was Greek archaeologist Dora Katsinopoulou and Stephen Soter of the American Museum of Natural History that made the final discovery. They concluded that it was an earthquake that had liquefied the ground, giving away directly under the feet of the hapless Greeks, and certainly not an act of Poseidon. 17. Petra, Jordan Established around 312 BC, Petra was an entire city carved into the rock of Wadi Musa. It once served as the ancient capital of the Nabataean Kingdom and was an important trade route for silk and spice, linking the east with the west. A series of events led the city to decline, and they couldn't recover from an earthquake in the 6th century that ruined their water supply, and everybody left. The city was forgotten and eventually rediscovered in 1812 by Johann Ludwig Burkhardt, a Swiss traveler. 16. Angkor Wat, Cambodia Constructed in the early part of the 12th century, this is what you'd hope every lost city would look like. It's a giant temple that's been hidden for centuries in the sprawling jungle. It sits on 500 acres and is one of the largest religious monuments in the world. It's this site that attracts most tourists to Cambodia. The original wall encloses the temples, city and the royal palace. And on a quick side note, the bricks were sealed together with a vegetable compound rather than mortar, making them appear as if they were stuck together with invisible glue. The area was abandoned in the 5th century, and it was Henry Mohart who brought the area to fame when he documented his journey there in the mid-19th century. 15. Mesa Verde, Colorado The Pueblo people were responsible for carving their homes in this cliff face around 1190. Before then, they spent roughly 600 years living on the top of the mountain. The area is now a national park between Denver and Las Vegas, and there are almost 5,000 archaeological sites in the park, with more to still be discovered. 
the area was abandoned in the 14th century because of social instability and drought. 14. Tessifon, Iraq This ancient city used to be the capital of the ancient Parthian Empire and is located not too far from today's Baghdad. It was built in the middle of the 2nd century BC and the colossal arch was added during the 3rd century. The city was conquered in 637 AD and was then used as a mosque. By 763, the city was not too popular as Baghdad was flourishing and eventually Tessifan was deserted and used as a quarry. 13. Palmyra, Syria It also goes by the name of Bride of the Desert and used to be a very important city in Syria. The first time the city was mentioned and recorded was in the early 2nd millennium BC. By the 16th century, the area was no longer in use. It's a very popular tourist attraction and has almost been destroyed twice by ISIS. It's now undergoing renovation and should reopen by 2019. 12. Sigiriya, Sri Lanka This impressive palace was built during the 5th century by King Kasapa. Sadly, he didn't get to enjoy his castle for very long as his brother attacked Kasapa's army and Kasapa had to make a hasty exit. Sigiriya remained as a palace for a short while, became an outpost and finally a Buddhist monastery until it was abandoned and forgotten. It was long believed to be a fable until European archaeologists discovered that the castle was real. Sigiriya has been declared as the eighth wonder of the world by UNESCO. 11. Vartia, Greece This area hasn't been uninhabited for as long as our previous entries and has only been empty for 100 years. Vartia is located on the Mani Peninsula in southeastern Lithonia and was first mentioned in 1571. Most recently, the area was populated by heavily armed Maniots, but now you can make a trip to Vartia and roam the empty houses. 10. Great Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe This lost city was built in the 11th century by the Gokomir people in today's Harare. The stone city used to be the hub for the trade of gold, ivory and cattle. The site used to hold a palace enclosed by a high wall and all that remains today are the remnants of this once vibrant and bustling city. 9. Palenque, Southern Mexico This once flourishing city was first occupied in 100 BC and is located near the Osama Center River in the Mexican state of Chiapas. From 600 to 700 AD, Palenque did well under the leadership of Pakal, a club-footed king whose image has been recorded in hieroglyphs. He was called the Sun Shield or White Macaw. During his reign, many of the fine buildings went up, including plazas and temples. The city's demise began with hostile relations with the neighboring rival Mayan city of Tonina, and records tell of an attack by them in 730. The area was abandoned in the 10th century, and it was only rediscovered in the 18th century. 8. Leptis Magna, Libya Leptis Magna was once a bustling city that served as a major trading hub for Libya. Roman Emperor Septimius Severus was born here. It was Severus who changed the area into a gigantic city. But when Rome fell, so did Leptis Magna. Raiders pillaged the city, leaving it in ruins, and over time it was swallowed up by sand. It stayed hidden for 1200 years until it was discovered by archaeologists in the 19th century. The sand meant that the city was almost perfectly preserved and the findings in the area were vast. 7. Teotihuacan, Mexico Located near Mexico City, Teotihuacan spanned 8 square miles or 20 square kilometers. It's believed as many as 100,000 people lived there during its zenith between 100 BC and AD 650. It's not clear who originally built it, but it's believed the Totonac people did. It's also not clear why the city was abandoned, but the Aztecs took it over 1400 years after it was built. It's here that you will find the Pyramid of the Sun, one of the most incredible pyramids in the world. 6. Kulap, Peru this is basically the cousin of the Inca city, Machu Picchu, although far older and quieter, and thanks to a recent addition of a cable car, a lot easier to reach. It's got everything you expect from a lost city, waterfalls, pyramids, and temples. It was built during the 6th century AD by the Chachapoyas. Very little is known about these warriors of the clouds, as they were also referred to as, and the area was abandoned in the 16th century. It's believed war and disease were the reasons for everyone leaving. 5. Mohenjo-Daro, Pakistan This incredible archaeological site was once a thriving city built around 2600 BC. It rivaled its Greek and Egyptian equivalents, and those that built this city are masters of town planning and civil engineering. There is evidence of shops, streets, homes, and a massive boundary wall, sadly all under threat from erosion. 
Mohenjo-daro was deserted in the 19th century when the Indus Valley civilization declined, and it was rediscovered in the 1920s by R. D. Banerjee. 4. La Ciudad Perdida, Colombia This is also known as the Lost Colombian City, and it was built roughly 1300 years ago by the Tyrona people. It was built on the hills, as their god was said to want them closer to the stars. The area was inhabited for 800 years, until the Spanish arrived. The Spaniards brought disease with them that the Tyrona were not immune against, and they were wiped out. When they were all deceased, the city was forgotten, until it was rediscovered in the 1970s by a group of bandits. They stole whatever they could and sold it on the black market. Word got out, and the city was rediscovered by archaeologists. The city also goes by the name of the Lost City. 3. Vijayanaga, India It's not much to look at now, but in 1500 AD, Vijayanaga had a bigger population than Paris. It was part of the greatest empire in southern India and was built in 1336. Today, you can still see the Virupaksha temple, which is revered by Hindus and non-Hindus alike. The empire collapsed in 1614 and was left to nature thereafter. 2. Troy, Turkey Thought to be merely a legend for centuries, Troy turned out to be true when it was discovered in the 1860s in northwest Anatolia by Heinrich Sleiman. It's believed that Troy was built 3000 BC and had been abandoned and rebuilt several times over the centuries. To this day, there is still no clear evidence that the Trojan War really took place. If you could go back in time and visit one of these incredible cities, which one would you choose and why? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Memphis, Egypt This used to be the capital of Lower Egypt and was formed around 3100 BC. Its original name was Inib Hedge, meaning the White Walls. The Greeks renamed it Memphis. It said that this city united the two kingdoms of Egypt. At its peak, 30,000 people lived there. Over time, Alexandria became the most important city under the Roman Empire, and Memphis was needed less and less. Eventually, Memphis was abandoned, and the area was used to saw stone. The remains today include the Temple of Ptah and of Apis, and a few statues. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos over here and hit the like button right over here. Thank you.